Thank you so much for coming again today to join us with the Vacation Bible School here at Sacred Heart Church. We have been learning about saints all week, and today you learned about Josephine Vaquita. And today's craft is going to be in remembrance of her. We're going to make this beautiful necklace. So let's get started. For Josephine Vaquita, we will be again making this necklace, and you should have in your um, kit have received a sheet of paper with three ovals on it and taped to it would be this um, blue cord or a purple cord. And this will be all that you need um, to complete your craft from your kit. If you could have on hand a pair of scissors and a stapler and something to write with, that will be the only uh, tools that you will need for today's craft. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is cut out all of your ovals. We will be writing on all sides of these ovals except for the very back and the very front. Um, so we'll have a, a plain blank oval. I guess these are ovals, not necessarily circles. very back oval it has a cross and next to it looks like the crown of thorns do you see that we also have some nails and what looks like a whip that certainly signifies the suffering that Jesus had gone through for us on the cross Jacinta suffered Josephine. As Josephine had suffered throughout her the majority of her life, um, from being in captivity um, to slavery, um, she had really given up all of her sorrows, her pain, her suffering to Jesus and, and, and accepted that suffering um, as, a, as a pleasure for her to um, show her love and devotion to God. And so what I would like to see is if you want to write on the inside, on the back of the picture and on the back side of the cross, um, write some things that maybe you've suffered through, um, especially being in quarantine recently. Um, it's a good time to, to write down some of the things that you've gone through that's been hard or different for you. Um, so I'm gonna put something like um, not being able to see my family as much seeing my family, especially like family out of state. Um, I've really not been able to go visit with them because one, it's very far, but also with the coronavirus, we've been sheltered quite a bit um, here at home and, and keeping within social distancing. Um, so not wanting to carry that, that um, concern off to, to my family, I stayed home. Um, but for those of you that can't, can't write, um, feel free to draw pictures. Pictures are wonderful as well. Um, once you get all of your pictures and your words written, we just put this Stack them all together, uh, and we're gonna seal it up. But on the front, you're gonna see your picture, and on the back, you're gonna have your cross. And we're just gonna seal this up. We're gonna take our cord, um, which is gonna become our necklace. And you can tie a little, little knot down here at the bottom. That'll help keep the necklace or the string um, in your in your oval when you staple it together. Once you have your string tied, holding your papers again, I can just push this right over one of the layers. Just kind of a little bit in there. If you have a little piece of tape to hold it in place too, that'll make it a little bit easier when you're getting ready to staple it. Um, it won't wiggle as much. 
once you get that put together there, and just give it a nice little staple. Um, and then be sure to do the other three sides. You know, we are giving up all of our struggles that we've had over the past few, few months. We're giving them up to God and, and we're accepting them with, with love and compassion, knowing that, that we're doing this for Him and relying on Him to continue to show us the right ways. Um, so we'll seal it all up. And if you want to add any extra embellishments to it, feel free to do so. Um, please be sure to share us with, with me some of your videos or pictures of your craft you've done. I can't wait to see what you've done. God bless.